Hi there, I'm Steve St. Clair. For about six years now, I've run the St. Clair St. Clair DNA study worldwide. And with this new website launch, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the first comprehensive DNA report on our family. I know of no other family study that has this much information packed into it. It's taken about 18 months to put it all together into a, into a form that's easy to read, easy to understand, and extremely accurate. As you look through the links at the left, keep in mind that DNA for genealogy is still a relatively new science. So there's going to be a lot more information to come and new interpretations of the information that you see at those links. I was originally working on this as a book, a printed book, uh, hoping to publish it alongside all those other books about our family, mysteries and legends, uh, hoping to at last add some solid science to all those stories. But I realized this was taking too long and that as I was writing the DNA science was changing really rapidly so I, it was like I never got done. In fact, this, re this report and this work never will be done. There's always going to be new information to learn and new interpretations to make of the, uh, of the data. In this video I want to share with you just a few points that I knew would be difficult to explain in writing. So I thought the best way to do that would be a video where you could see some charts and stuff. So here it goes. When most people first encounter the St. Clair Sinclair DNA study, they're doing it to solve questions of genealogy. Now DNA is perfect for that, our project in particular, because we have a lot of good documents researchers out there in our family. Here's how that works. This line represents a person's genealogy trail back in time. They've got you know, family pictures, marriage records, census records, and old written records, ship records, and whatever they, else they can find. They've got a good trail. Typically this goes back, this will get someone back to the, maybe the 1700s or the 1600s. Using the two record rule, you must have two records for each point you're making in time to prove it accurately. This person, unfortunately, got stuck in the 1800s and can't find any more documents. This was like Stan and I. I was stuck in the 1800s. I only had one document proving a person in 1822. I needed a second and I couldn't find it. So I contacted Stan. He, he and I both took the test and we connected using DNA. That became my second record. And all of a sudden I was connected back to the 1698 immigrant Alexander Sinclair from Glasgow. However, now we're stuck in 1698 and I'm looking for ways to use DNA to get around that. Here's how that works. You'll find this chart on the passage through time. And what I did was a three-part project to try to connect these lines together. These two lines somewhere along one of their known haplogroup lineages by working my way forward in time. I went all the way back to Africa and traced our families through the Arabian Peninsula, Iran, Kazakhstan, Eastern Central Europe and Eastern Europe, and then during the glacial maxim down into France and then back up and where we all wound up. And as you'll see, you can study this chart up close on passage through time and that link up to the left. But the goal is now to connect these groups. And I found three ways to do that. My goal was to connect these lines together. We haven't done it yet for any lineage, but there are three hopeful ways we can do that. One is the name matching project. You're going to see that link up at the left. The second way was deep clay testing of every lineage. You'll read more about that throughout our website, but in particular the methodology link. The third way to connect these was to go all the way back to Africa and trace forward using the genographic project. I compared our results to data from archaeologists, from linguists, and many other scientists. At the end of all this, I came tantalizingly close to connecting with the period of good documents research within about 600 years. That's all the gap is at this point, about 600 years in some of our lineages. Think of it this way, working backwards in time, folks, with good documents research back to the 1600s. Working forward in time, I could get to about the time of uh, 1,000 years ago. But then using deep clay testing and other testing labs and S&P studies, I'm now able to tease just a little more out of some of these lineages which will help them connect to the documents research and now I'm within about 600 years of that. Enjoy the study, there's a lot to read and a lot to uh, learn here and I, I welcome your comments. Please send me an email with any comments you have on the study and uh, welcome to the first comprehensive report on the Sinclair St. Clair DNA study.